I wipe the sleep bugs out of my eyes as I stretch in the morning. I get up. I notice I'm late for school. School. Good thing I can get dressed in 0.3 seconds. I start my daily routine. I walk by the laundry room and onto the fish tank. Fish tank. Where my pet Jawsy is swimming. I say, hello, how are you? And he says, I'm hungry. So I feed him a whole bottle of food. Yes, I know, he's fat. Then, I play with my fuzzy cat, Panther. Panther. He's just a little warm bundle of joy that I love cuddling with in the morning. He really inspires me to do good throughout the day. Oh, don't scratch me, Panther. Now it's time for my wholesome breakfast. Breakfast. That banana sure is good. I read my ad. It's a Les Schwab ad. My doctor says to eat lots of vitamin C to maintain good health. So I eat lots of vitamin C to maintain my health. It's a tire cell. I should probably get some tires. My car is fresh out of tires. Tires. That was a good ad. And a good banana. I'm ready for the day. Now, I meditate. Meditate. As I flow upwards, I get closer to Nirvana. Nirvana. Now, my mind is at peace. It's time for my jump kick workout to get my heart pumping. Watch out. You might get hit really hard. Now, I use my bow and arrow. The arrow flies through the air with sleek and slick precision, precision. as it hits the bullseye. Bullseye. Thank you for training me, my master. Now, it's time for a sentimental soccer moment with my brother. Aw. Poor brother. Sorry, Dakota. Didn't mean to. Now, I realize I'm late for school again. And, wait, oh. There's something up in the woods. I think it's my old friend, Mouse Squatch. Mouse Squatch. Half man, half mouse, half squatch. He says, can I have a ride to school? And I say, only if you give me a sweet cloak like yours. Sweet cloak. And he says, okay, only if you give me a ride to school. I put on the cloak and say, let's blow this popsicle stand. As we're driving down my driveway, he says, this music really bites. Really bites. And I say, what? This rocks. This and push rocks. him out of the car. Ah, he says, as he falls down the cliff. I drive away, leaving him in the dust. I speed race to school, anxious for the day to start at school. I jump out of my car with my newly acquired cloak. But then I stop and look at the palm tree. Palm tree. And I wonder, why do we have a palm tree at Hidden Valley? I kick it. I don't like the idea of having a palm tree. Palm tree. I run towards the door, hoping I'll be on time. But in all my efforts, they have docked me in. I'm such a failure. I'm so sad. So sad. Look at my top hat. Uh, I cannot believe they locked me out. But wait, a, a thought dawned in my head. It's Sunday. Sunday. Uh, I guess I'll just go home. What do you know? I'm so happy I can go talk to Mouse Squatch. Yay! Yay!